Okay, guys, we have a we've got another camera, and uh, this one's made by uh, uh, Camp Park here. This is the T40 model. Okay, I I haven't looked at it. This is the first time I just got it, but uh, uh, this one here is a uh, I think I had one there somewhere. A 16 megabyte pixel. Here, let's see. Waterproof, wide lens, which that's pretty good. Supports up to 30. Two gigabytes a micro uh, SD card. Now, uh, you know, a lot of us don't like the uh, micro SD card because it's so small and it, it's it's hard to handle. Uh, you know, if you're going to put it, but I have a a, a a camera pack where I I keep all my cards and stuff in it. So we're going to take a look at this one. Uh, the trigger time is from 0.5 to 0.8. Yes. Okay. And uh, I want to take a look at it. Like I said, I just picked it up. This is another one. I haven't got pictures off the last one yet, but uh, uh, I'm going to go up and get those. Okay, here's what's in it. Here we go. We have, uh, oh, by the way, before I get too far into it, I do like using these. These are pretty inexpensive. They come three in a pack. It's called uh, Easy Tree Mounts. Uh, this one here, I think it was like 10 bucks uh, on Amazon. You can pick them up. Uh, pretty decent. I mean, it's... Now what I did to get these, what I did to get these in the tree here, I actually uh, took a drill, a cordless drill, and then I pre-drilled the hole, and then I went ahead and screwed this in, so it worked a lot better. Now I did have a little trouble keeping these, uh, the small clips. I don't know, there's a little clip on the end that's supposed to hold this piece here on, and I did have problems holding this on. So I just, if I would take the camera off and I lost that little clip of one of them, I just screw that back up in the camera for. While I'm using or stick it in my pocket. You gotta be careful not to lose it. But for ten bucks, I mean it's okay. Of course, I'm for sure you can make these. Okay, in the box, of course they have this uh, little code thing. I don't know, something we don't need. It's not gonna do us any good. Um, here's a uh, cord for your phone, or not for your uh, camera. We got a cool little mount. Now one of these, one of the other uh, cameras I end up with. Had the same thing, and I thought that was pretty neat because uh, I uh, let me put this over here. What I did is, uh, you know, screwed screwed on tree. It comes with a couple little screws in the pack, but it's pretty pretty neat. And you just take this and you know screw it, take this bolt off the bottom here, put this together, and then your camera would fit on it into here. And uh, you know you can move it around and you know whatever way you want to get the rotate the camera a little bit more around the tree or or whatever you got it stuck on okay let's push it back There's a couple pieces there uh, of course you're gonna get your strap I don't like I said I don't use the straps I think they're just a waste because I put my cameras up pretty high okay here comes the camera and let's see take this plastic over here oh that's a pretty nice camera this is the first time I got to take a look at it real close you can see um, it's still got its film paper on it um, yeah, it's a nice, nice camera. Looks nice. Let's see how it looks like inside here. Open this up. Clips are small. So a lot of the ones I have are pretty big clips. You got, you got uh, your view here for your view. A uh, bunch of your little knobs. Now, where is the... Okay, well, here we go. It's going to be maybe a little hard to see, but your uh, paper fell off. Your uh, SD cord's going to fit here. And then you have a couple other little connections. So we're going to give it a try. I mean, you know, uh, see how the batteries come out. Might have to have something to get the battery out. That's that's the thing with some of these uh, that I've I got. Whew, eight batteries. So it should it should last a little while with the eight batteries. You know, so at least at least a month if you're just doing pictures. Of course, if you're doing videos. It's going to take more. And uh, we're just going to do we're just going to do pictures. Um, of course, that's probably got to go back in there a little bit better here. I'm for sure it's got a couple little things on the bottom that slides down there. There you go. So uh, let's see what the seal. There's a seal. There's a rubber seal right here. Don't feel too bad. Let's see. It's 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 down inside of here that rubber seal. So uh, usually the rubber seals are. Pretty much up here, close to the top. So, but uh, 
don't feel too bad and that's the main thing is that that seal goes around here because you know we definitely want to make sure that it's not gonna you know it's gonna bring up a lot of moisture they're saying it won't but you know you really don't know okay uh on the back of course this is where your strap would go here on the back uh, um, and then your mounting bracket like I said for this this piece right here the mounting bracket would screw into it's pretty neat but uh, this is a different one. I'm trying a different camera so I think this was around 40 bucks something like that uh, we're, we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and see so you know we're really liking to mess around with these cameras a good bit they're uh, a lot of fun to mess with you can put them anywhere and one thing about it I means you can imagine a stuff well you could imagine a stuff you pick up on them I mean I pick up really some really weird stuff now let's see here we go they're gonna bury it down in the bottom of the box but here's your your manual uh, it's a T40 trail camera and of course it's gonna tell you some of your accessories and stuff that came with it I really like that mounting this uh, this bracket here I like it because like I said you can move it different ways and of course you put it all together Let's see what else we got a little hard for me to see I should have my glasses on don't have them on but if you get one of these uh, you know maybe go through your instructions here just to kind of give you a little heads up on what all can do um, what the distance let's see how many feet let's see if I can find it where it says how many feet like night vision and stuff is? Um, yeah, that's it. But if I can't find it in here, I'll just go ahead and, well, I'm sure it's in here, but uh, when I make the video on uh, the pictures and how well the pictures and, and give you my uh, full review on it, and then uh, uh, I'll go ahead and make sure I got all that, so okay there you go on the trail camera this is made by cam park here and uh you can pick it up like i said pretty much anywhere pretty good price right now amazon selling a lot of good uh good sales so just look around for them so if you like the trail camera you can hook it up around your home business any place you maybe you don't want somebody to know you put it up there uh i put them pretty high in the tree so when people's walking you know i, I have climbing equipment i used to cut trees so uh, I can put them up pretty high and point them down. So, and I get some really good shots on some deer, some animals, some rac a lot of a lot of raccoons, uh, things like that. It's pretty neat. I mean, you wouldn't believe the little creatures are uh, crawling around in the woods you've probably never seen before. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching. And this, uh, I will do you another update on the camera as soon as I get it. I'll put out and then uh, the other ones too. So, okay. Thanks for watching.